we are here with Samit Gill, who has just finished a training session. Um, so, Samit, talk about uh, before the summer, before you got involved training with Jeremiah and uh, Matt. Um, had you ever done any strength training? What sort of background did you have? Um, basically, I've been kind of doing like the basic, uh, I guess you call them bodybuilding workouts when I was younger. And uh, before my other fights, I'd be doing uh, lifts and stuff, but it wasn't anything to this degree or that was this specialized for me for fighting. It's a little bit more generalized and um, it helped, but this has definitely been a, a way, an experience above and beyond anything that I could have thought of. So talk a bit about the experience and about working uh, with Jeremiah. Uh, well, I can remember the, the first day that I came in, um, he basically kicked my, uh, my butt with uh, some sprints and from there I, I knew uh, just from his attitude and just from that first day that it was going to be a good relationship just because he pushed me the way that I used to be pushed and we had, I feel like we had a really good, really good chemistry in the, with a trainer and athlete and ever since then every week has just been going better and better and you know, he, he pushes me beyond, beyond my limits every single time and he's encouraging and he yells at me. Sometimes he beats me with a stick. <laughs> Over the last two months working uh, working out with Jer, uh, what has been your biggest improvement? I would say cardiovascularly. This has been a huge, huge improvement with my gas tank. Um, I can push a lot harder for a lot longer, and and strength-wise, it's not like before. I'd, I'd feel stronger, but I'd gas out really quick in training. Whereas now, that strength st you know stays constant throughout the entire round if you're training for a couple rounds or for an entire hour for the training session I don't feel as fatigued as I would as I have in the past so it's been a great great increase in there I would say so you've noticed your training here um, helping you as you train striking and all, all that all the other aspects yeah my coaches have definitely definitely commented that they've noticed that for example my striking coach said when we're hitting the pads my punches are staying crisp and strong longer throughout the throughout the round from the beginning to the end, whereas before I'd fatigue a lot quicker. Uh, same with my MMA coach or my grappling coach, Bobby. Um, same thing, he's saying, you know, he can tell that I'm a lot stronger and that I'm not fatiguing as much as I was and I can put more strength into into going for takedowns or defending a submission or going for submission, stuff like that. So do you think this training has prepared you uh, to win a long 15-minute <laughs> fight with uh, Chris? That um, hard knocks eight. Well, I guess I guess how me and Jared put it that uh, we're only going for 90 seconds. I think was was what the plan was, but <laughs> but seriously, yeah, I think I think regardless of however long the fight goes, I think I'm getting prepared to go for. I can go for the 15 minutes, and I could it could potentially be a, be a quick fight as well. I mean, it all, it all you never know what's going to happen once you once you enter the, into the ring. So it's only going to be a matter of what happens that night, and I think I'm prepared for whatever happens. Hopefully. Thank you.